though, we got some great news today. Previously talked about getting my uh, BFS reel for Christmas. My wife bought this for me today. The rod has come in. Super exciting day. We're gonna get some lines pulled up on this, put it on the rod, compare them both, see how it looks. Dude, this is, this is, this is awesome. Can't wait. It's like Christmas on here. Yeah, here we go. There's the cat. He's here. All right, bye. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some uh, P-Line fluorocarbon on the reel. Just debating, doing braid line, I'm afraid, uh, doing come, all kinds of debating. I'm gonna just go with this eight pound test to start. I feel like I gotta go lighter. Down the line maybe. I don't know, what should I do? All right, we're gonna pivot, we're gonna change. We're actually gonna go with this Berkley X9 braid. This is eight pound line, lighter, smaller, just, yeah, we're gonna downsize everything on this thing. I've been using this as drop shot line for a fishing rod and I've had a lot of success with it. So we're gonna go with that, okay? Put that on, we'll tie on a leader. We'll talk a little bit about that later, but let's get this on first. Okay? Okay, Jordan is gonna be my number one helper today. He loves helping with putting fishing line on fishing rods, right, Jordan? No. Uh, okay, well, he's helping anyway. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Let's get going. Got a little tape on there. Would usually use some monofilament to kind of back it up, but I'm gonna use tape instead because the spool size is smaller and I don't wanna be wasting line with the mono. So, here we go. We're off and running, baby. Just doing my best to add the tension. Pull it on there nice and smooth. Okay. Spooled up. We literally just ran out of line, so that's gonna need to be good enough. So we got the line on. Let's check out the rod, baby. Can't wait to crack this thing open. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. We got it, baby. Okay, so the rod we went for, for this setup, is a Dobbins, it's a Sierra series. And what's cool about the Dobbins rods is they always give you some information, but again, ultra finesse casting. Really cool opportunity. This is a one piece, it's a light rod, medium action, extra fast tip, BFS, Crank the rod. Woo boy! Okay. Woo, there's the tip. Here's the tip at you. I'm gonna put the reel on it real quick. Take a look. All right, we gotta, just got a chance to show you some of how the tip action works. Um, dude, this thing is so interesting. Um, it just feels kind of uh, interesting to have, um, it just feels kind of interesting to have um, this rod type with this reel. It just, I don't know, like usually using these type of reels, it's a different just type of rod, different type of feel. I want the left-handed one. Um, I just feel more comfortable using my right hand to um, impart action on certain baits. And then I feel comfortable reeling left-handed. So I feel like stick with what work, works. And the other advantage is, is once that bait hits the water, I'm ready to start reeling right away. Whereas if you if you are right-handed and you need right-handed reel, you gotta switch over. So that's why I'm going lefty, all right? Just, I like to do it, it's been working out. Dude, I'm just, I'm so like intrigued. Just the, the rod action with this type of reel, pretty cool. You know, looks wise, I think both rods are and reel, they look good together. Um, there's some cool finishes on this Sarah series. It's definitely not the most expensive version. 
I need this rod to be versatile because there's a bunch of different things you can do with this style of fishing, different lures from moving baits to, um, to worms to everything. And so I just wanted to grab a rod that I thought could do all those different things versus getting specific rod types because I'm going to use for me, all the BFS stuff is going to be super versatile. So that's why I want with the Sierra. Um, a lot of the information, a lot of stuff I got was from the uh, Tactical Bassin YouTube channel. They added a whole guide on BFF stuff, and I used a lot of that when picking up the stuff. Um, one of the things that came in the rod box was some of these jig heads, and that's because I ordered a bunch of stuff from Tackle Warehouse. They sent it to me two things, so it looks like along with the rod, they sent a few of the other baits. But I got a whole bunch of BFF stuff to unbox and go over. We'll take a look at that. In a different video but so just initial impressions so far um i really i'm looking this dobbins um i think it's designed perfect if you want to need uh we went with the braid over the fluorocarbon because for me i have better experience casting braid and for right now i want to get things dialed up before i try to go outside of that so that's where i'm going to go with i'm going to probably tie on a leader um, i probably need to buy some like lighter fluorocarbon than i have maybe even go down to four um, pound uh, floral or even six pound. I didn't have six, but even go down the four. So I'm going to try some of those things out. And then I technically can just like maybe marker out some of this um, bright line. Maybe I can just mark it out a little bit and give it a shot. I'm, I'm definitely going to go cast this thing around today. So we'll do a little bit of a casting uh, video as well. But that's the initial setup. Um, looking forward to getting out there. Uh, follow me for more content. I'm also going to be doing, again, more stuff on this BFS kind of journey a little bit. So I'll go out. I'll take some video of me casting it and post that out. And then we're going to unbox all those lures. For right now, I'm going to throw on just a simple old micro finesse shrooms head and start from there. Thanks for watching the video. Shout out to Jordy for helping, even though he didn't want to. See you on the next one. This is Coop's Fishing Addiction. Have a good one. Hey, we're having an exciting day. Today is awesome.